Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So, your York is Gamboa defeats Jason Sosa by majority decision. Now, let's just let's just get to it, man. Like, yo, it was a robbery. Uh, your York is Gamboa lost that fight. All right, don't argue with me on this. Don't give me a back and forth. I don't want to see people in my comment section to my man, 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 what are you talking about? The man lost. There's no way you can spin it that Gamboa won. Gamboa lost in every major category of a fight. He didn't control anything about, he didn't control the fight. He was fatigued. He got hit with the hardest shots. I mean, there was nothing that I can say that went favorable for your, your Yorkers Gamboa in this particular fight. Jason Sosa should have won this fight. Now, this is your Yorkers Gamboa fourth fight this year, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of people are running around like, yo, you know, this is an inactive thing. You know, he, he's been inactive for so long. And so, he, you know, he's, he can't get it back. No, it's like, yo, that time has passed, man. That man has, this is his fourth fight this year. Ever since he signed with Golden Boy earlier on this year, Golden Boy has been keeping him very active. Now, this particular fight right here was a short notice fight. Granted, he took this fight on three weeks short notice. And Jason Sosa is not a slouch. Jason Sosa is a formidable opponent. But on the flip tip that, yo, man, like, New York is Gamboa looked totally out of shape in this fight. He looked fatigued. I mean, I don't know, man. Some people are saying that New York is Gamboa should look to go back down to 130, maybe even possibly 126. I think that's too far of a drop for him at this point in his career. He's 35 years of age. He's losing that much weight. Uh, it's not probably suggested at this point in his career. I mean, he's been fighting at 35 for his last few fights. And so you would think he's kind of used to this by now. But just clearly, man, like he didn't hurt Sosa at all in this fight. Your your Orcas Gamboa from round six on down in this fight. I thought he lost every round. He was knocked down, uh, what, round seven or so. He got a point deducted away from him later on in the fight. Those two added on already with Jason Sosa was already doing in the fight. Tough man to want the fight should have easily went to Jason Sosa. Easily. Clearly, Oscar or Golden Boy or somebody then paid off somebody or something, man. Because, yo, that this wasn't even close, in my opinion. Like, where are they finding these judges, man? These judges need to stop this, man. Like, it's time to put retired fighters as judges, ladies and gentlemen. This has to stop, man. The HBO car, it's like, yo, these judges, where they find with HBO are finding their judges? I don't know, man. But yo, your York is Gamboa, man. Like, clearly, you know, unfortunately, yes, his career was interrupted several times. And then I listened to like Jim Lampley and those those guys commentating on HBO, and they're like, yo, it's all Gamboa's fault. He's his own worst enemy. You know, this is a typical story for Cuban boxers, ladies and gentlemen. Cuban boxers. I'm starting to think I need to do a vid specifically on Cuban boxers. They always get advantages taken. You know. They always get put at a disadvantage or get the advantage taken, you know, from them. You know what I mean? They go through several promoters. They go through several contracts, managers, you name it. They come here usually unable to properly speak and read English. So they get it, you know, they get taken advantage of, man. And we've seen this play out in fighters like uh, uh, Guerlamo Regendahl. We've seen guys like Luis Ortiz. We've seen guys like Sullivan Barrera. Uh, we've Now we see New York is Gamboa, like, Arislandy Laura, like these guys do not get respectable paydays. They go through all kind of legal hoops and loops because they sign so many contracts that they do not understand, man. And clearly, Yui Orcus Gamboa is one of the casualties of that particular thing, man. You know, and it's sad to say. So when people are always like, yo, it's all his, it's his fault and this, that, and the third, look into the history of what these Cuban boxers I have to deal with in the sport of boxing, ladies and gentlemen. But clearly, once again, Yui Orcus Gamboa, this is his fourth fight this year, cannot use the inactive label no more. Um... Clearly, this is a short notice fight, so he clearly looked like a, a fighter who took a fight on short notice. The referee honestly could have called that second slippage or whatever like that a knockdown, but, you know, they called it a slippage, but it, it could have been ruled a knockdown. That was more worthy of a knockdown than the actual knockdown that was called, in my opinion. I thought the actual knockdown uh, was, uh, you know, he was off balance or whatnot. It wasn't a true knockdown, but... Clearly, Jason Sosa, once again, gutted for this fight, man. I can, you know, my hat's off to him and the performance that he put in. Constantly coming forward, throwing hard shots, seeing that Yui Orcas Gamboa athleticism was not nearly what it once was, and he took advantage of that, man. Simple and Simon. Now, clearly, Yui Orcas Gamboa has been working with the Cuban national team coaches, and they basically coached him to go in there and just to get the win. Outbox this guy. Do not look to become aggressive.
aggressive. Do not look for the knockout. Just look to rack up some points and get this victory. And that's what they that was the objective for Yui Orcas Gamboa in his corner. It wasn't to go in and to be aggressive and to put his foot on the gas. Something that HBO would love to see. No, his objective is to go in there and box, rack up a bunch of points, and gain the victory on the judge's scorecard, which by the judges' uh, outlook, is which he did. So we'll see what's next for Yui Orcas Gamboa. Still, in my opinion, I don't think he's ready for the elite level at 35. Mikey Garcia waxes him right now. Shit, even Vasil Lomachenko may come up from 30 and beat him right now. I think Regan Dow beats him right now. I think a lot of people beat Yui Orcas Gamboa right now because he's showing now that he's having stamina issues this late in his career. Um... I don't know. They got to get this guy career back on track before it's over, man. I know Oscar had high hopes for him and, and hoping to add another good name to his stable when he signed him and took him out of that bad SMS. Prom- or no, he didn't take him out of the SMS promotions. Uh, he signed him from another promoter because remember after New Yorkers Gamboa left 50 Cent, he went to some fly by night outfit and then Oscar De La Hoya grabbed him, man. But, uh, you know. Clearly giving him a good platform, man. This is up to Yui Yorkers Gamboa what he's going to do with it, man. But he's got to go back to the drawing board. And he's got to try to get back in tune with his athleticism, more importantly, man. His athleticism. He's not nearly as explosive as he once was, nor as nearly as defensively sound as he once was, man. Um, see, I'm seeing a lot of holes in Yui Yorkers Gamboa's game. And to take it to the elite level, I think he gets embarrassed right now. And that's just my opinion. So we'll see how he pivots next. As for Jason Sosa, man, hopefully he remains in the big fights, man. We've seen him in fights with guys like uh, Lomachenko in the past. And uh, we've seen this fight. He put a good showing out in this fight. Most fight fans will have him winning this fight. Um, I don't think this downs the trajectory of Jason Sosa by far. He can still go on and get good names at 135 because the fanfare after this fight we'll have jason sosa winning and it will be favorable in jason sosa's uh corner so we'll see how he continues to move at 135 um hopefully still involved in big name fights because he he deserves to be there quite honestly in my opinion so to the next video main man made man don't forget to subscribe twitter made man 511 facebook main man made man boxing forum google plus main man made man we've all had high hopes for your yorkers gamboa man and we do feel for him for all of the legal ins and outs that he's been through outside of the ring keeping him out of the ring you know we feel for the guy man we do but yet and still at this point man someday comes a point where you know you say okay that's not you can't use that no more and inactivity and ring rust and all of that stuff and him his prime just whizzing on by without him fighting was always the reason that we gave for your yorkers gamble well ladies and gentlemen like i said earlier this is his fourth fight this year what's the excuse now to the next video peace out